back at you again with another one. Uh, today we're doing a laptop black screen. Uh, this method works for mostly any laptop that has this issue. Um, so, got this in from a customer. Uh, it's not. Let me get the cord here. Give it some juice so I can show you what it's doing. Pull it up. Hit the power button. They got the power button lighting up. The power button right there blinking. Well, it's white now. Come back. But as you see, there is nothing on the screen. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. But before we go any further, you guys, uh, we are doing a PlayStation 4 uh, giveaway, easy giveaway today. All you got to do is definitely just go down below hit that subscribe button over there, hit that notification bell so you can receive our notifications and leave a comment down below and we're doing this one, guess a number uh, uh, 1 through 500, whoever gets close, the closest to the number will definitely be that lucky winner all you gotta do is do those in details De and definitely share so let's go ahead and get into this one, unplug it Go around here and take this battery off. It looks like they got a clip broke down in, but that's okay. Go down in here. Got screws in the battery back here. Okay. By the way, this model is a uh, a CQ57 Presario HP. But like I say, this method works for most any laptop that has to process the solder with the thermal paste and things like that. Here's my hard drive over here. So the five, I believe this one was a 500 gig, I think. goes a screw that is connected to the keyboard. Take that one out right quick here. And you can see the like the little icons on there what everything is made for. This is uh, the one for the CD ROM. There goes the CD ROM icon. I don't know if you can see it but that screw is. There's another one for the keyboard. Because a Wi-Fi card, you definitely want to screw this one because it is attached to the cover, which was connected to the motherboard. Take the memory out. Put your little clips on the side. Let's flip it over. Go ahead and slide this keyboard out. So got my flathead here. Let's push these clips back up in the keyboard. See when you push, you kind of like don't bend it too hard. Don't push too hard. Push it in, move on to the next one. You notice the keyboard start to come on, come on loose. Pull a little bit with it as we go. Push that back. Go another clip. Push it back. Pull a little with it. See how loose it is now. Go to my last one down here. Right there. Wiggle it. Come around. If you notice it's still stuck, that means you must have missed a screw. So. There goes your clip for the keyboard. Just lift up on it. It comes on loose. Put it to the side. There goes one screw right here. There goes your clips for your mouse. And your clicker for your mouse. Take that loose. Let's see. Pull up on the top a little bit, we'll work our way around on the side. Pull up on it. Set it to the side. There we go. Here goes our motherboard. Got the breakdown motherboard CD ROM. Take a loose your clips. So your USBs. 
to throw your wire on the motherboard, which is your speaker. Come out of there. Yeah, come here. Ah, there we go. Go back out like that. Set it right there. Come up here. There goes your monitor. Pull that up. Move it out of the way. Right here. Which one is going to the bottom? Uh, let's see. Got three screws for this speaker. Take that screw out too. Lift up on the speaker. Slide it that way. Now that should give you access for your motherboard now. So pull it from up under there. Because it, remember it's stuck under there. So you want to wiggle it a little bit that way to the side. So there we go. Just flip it over. Dun dun dun. So let's go ahead and take this off here. And look, while you're at it, look how much dust is up in that fan. Can you see that? One thing that I do when doing these repairs, I'll also clean the fan while I'm at it because that is the main reason it's overheating. That's what's happening here. Your laptop is overheating. That video chip is overheating. The process is, is not being able to keep up. So we're also going to clean that too. Let's go ahead and take this off here. Get that up. Take that off. Video chip up here. So that's the, the chip that we'll be working on. So what I'm going to do here is unplug it as well. I can get down on it. Be careful when taking that loose. One of my tricks, I like to take a piece of cardboard. You want to be able to see the the center of the chip right here. And here I have a heat gun, which you don't necessarily need. You can use a hair dryer or some kind of heating tool that heats it up. But a heat gun will do. Got mine turned on low, I'm gonna let it heat up a minute. Alright, so let's hold it over the chip a little bit. And when doing this, you wanna kinda like move it, move it around there. You know, so it won't sit in one spot. There we go. I'm gonna hold it down like that. They can get kinda hot. So while letting this chip cool down, I'm going to go ahead and clean out this uh, this fan. I know this is the main reason why you're having that black uh, that black screen because the video chip is overheating. So right here, here goes the screws on the back. Um, you got one right there, right there, right there, and, and right there up under the pl up under a little plastic lip. So I got the screws already took out, most of them, except one that was stuck, but that's okay. So look right here. See all that dust backed up in that fan? It can't even you, you it can't even breathe to cool down the, the the video chip or processor. It can't even breathe. So we're gonna clean all that out. There goes the fan. And uh, yeah, while that's cooling now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out, and we'll get back into it. All right, now that I got the the fan cleaned off, um, before putting it back on, you want to make sure. Um, even though you've fixed the situation with the video chip and cleaning the fan out, you also want to make sure you still have some thermal paste on there or thermal thermal glue. So, oh my God. Put that down like that. Bring that clip up here. Flip back down like that. Grab your power wash since we don't have a, a, the battery in it at the time. Grab your your power. Put it over here on the side. And let's keep our fingers crossed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button here. And uh oh, what is that there? Voila! Back up and running. That's all was wrong, you guys. It overheated. And that video chip while it was overheating the uh, 
the solder in the motherboard and stuff like got stuck to one side of the board or something like that so now that you got that back up and going um, enjoy and I hope you definitely uh, subscribe to this video like I said in the beginning of the video um, we're doing a PlayStation 4 giveaway it's the 500 gigabyte but hey it's a free one all you got to do is like I say subscribe to the channel pick a number uh, 1 through 500 and at the end of the month we pick one lucky winner so make sure you stay tuned we definitely definitely giving back you guys uh, I'm cash money for you Peace.